All right, here we go. We're working on an ES330 Lexus. All right, we got a 14 millimeter here. I'm gonna zip these out. Pull this off. Set it up. Switch to a 17 millimeter. All right, first thing we're going to use is a mallet. Let's see if we can pop it loose, which it did. If not, use an aluminum hammer, one of the two. I use the mallet first, they usually pop right loose. No big deal. There's no holes in them where there's screws that hold the rotors on. So I use lug nuts if I have to. Okay, so what I do is I just use an old one from the other side. Now this one's got dual pistons. Some of them have single pistons, but this one has duals. Keep pressing it in evenly. It'll go till it bottoms out. There you have it. You're all pressed in. Just gonna make sure we're all pressed in. Just shoot some carb cleaner on it. Just gonna shoot some carb cleaner on this. Clean out those tracks. All right, when you're checking your brakes, always make sure these free float. If you think they're not, pull them back, your boots, and check them, make sure they're greased. If they ain't got no grease in them, pull them out, re-grease them. If they feel rusty and rotten like there's no grease in them, put some in them. Make sure these free float. All right, the customer bought brakes. But as you can see, they don't come with the backing plate. So since they don't come with the backing plate, we're just cleaning them up and reusing them. These clips on the end are broke. So you usually just pry them off on the inside towards the brake pad. So if you pry them off that way, you'll be better off. These are broke. Now my customer is trying to get new ones, but sometimes they're a little cheap and you don't know what they're going to do. If your tank, if these don't fit tight, just bend your tangs back down and then stretch them over so that way they fit tight. If you have to, glue them back on. There you are. Now they fit. There you have it. We'll get back to the car. Alright, we're going to take the rotor out. This is a genuine Toyota rotor. I don't even touch the surface of the rotor. Never. Leave the box down there. And I'll spray this down. I'll spray this down. Turn it around. Spray this surface down. And I'll mount the rotor. Take two lug nuts, run it all the way down. That holds it in place while you're putting the, the bracket on. Go 
little star pipe mount in the bracket. Okay. Got these, putting these uh, bracket bolts back in. Spin your rotor, make sure it's not touching. And you want to make sure you ain't got nothing on your rotor as well. No grease. So I'm just gonna just make sure and torque these down. These get torqued to 900 inch pounds. There you are. It's time for your brakes. We're going to switch these out and put new ones on. He finally bought new ones. So, take that one off. me how these little tangs they go to the top all the tangs go to the top if you need to hold them I use a little wrench for an air, uh, it's for an air die grinder. I use that. I hold them in the back. It's the same size. Tighten them down to 300 inch pounds with a 14 millimeter. Sometimes you don't have to hold them. We'll try it without it. There you go. You're done. Turn your wheels back straight and do the other side. And that's how she works, fellas. Always start them by hand. That way they go in the holes. You don't want to have a cock and then strip out your lug. Check them across, take them across. The uh, lug nut bolt uh, torque, or the lug nuts get torqued down to uh, 76 foot-pounds. Now when you're done with your, your Lexus brakes, don't forget, pump your brakes up at least 25 times while the car's off, and then when you start it, pump it another 25 times. Nice and easy, don't have to cram them. Just pump them easily. At least give them 25 pumps. Check them before you roll off, and you're good to go. Watch my other video, I'll be putting on the back brakes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.